All right, so these are my two Echo trimmers. Um, the S SRM 2620T, and that's just the SRM 2620. Uh, I've had this one, the 2620, for, uh, I used it for three seasons for landscaping. Um, really good trimmer. I really don't have any complaints about it. It had a ton of good power. Uh, it was consistent. It never broke. It was just overall a really good trimmer. It's not too heavy. Uh, anything like that. It's, it feels comfortable. Now this guy, the T version, I just got that, um, recently. I was just gonna get the same one again, but the dealer uh, convinced me to buy it and it was only 30 more dollars. And the only difference is it's literally the same exact thing. Just the, uh, there's an extra gear in the head that gives it more power um, when you're doing, you know, thicker grass or whatever. So, it's a it's a little bit heavier in the front. That's that's really the only difference. But if you want more power, which I I, I tend to like a little more power, so I don't even really use it on full throttle. So it's it, it's um it's a really good trimmer too. I've been using that for I think three only three weeks now. <clears throat> um. Yeah, like I said, I don't even use it on full, full throttle. I don't even think I use the other one on full throttle that much either, but some of the jobs, you know, that you get when you got, like, a big spot and it's really overgrown, that's going to come in handy. And just for it to weigh a little bit more and only be $30 extra, that I think is worth it. Um, but they're both really good trimmers. And, and I definitely uh, recommend them to landscapers, anyone, homeowners, anyone. Um, I'm going to play a short video of me using the T version. And so you can see what it like, what it sounds like, how it cuts. And yeah, so... Definitely like both these Echo Trimmers and recommend them to anyone out there who's looking to, to buy a, uh, a Weed Whacker.